welcome to an all new episode of the Grace Taproom Podcast. I am the Trash Can Tabby, one of your hosts. And over here, my co host, the Throat Goat for Twisted Tea, <laughs> Mike. Okay. I like that. I Shout out that. to Opinionated Luscious. Yeah, I, I accept that. <laughs> I'm Twisted Tea's Throat Goat. <laughs> Fun fact for those of you who didn't listen, which you should go listen to, Opinionated the Opinionated Luscious. Luscious episode that we were on, the Friday the 13th part two. Last week's episode. Last week's episode that dropped. Yeah. Uh, Mike got excited about Twisted Tea stickers and didn't read that it said Throat, throat goat. goat. Yeah. And Twisted <laughs> Tea. Yeah. So he was like, oh, I need that sticker. And she's like, are you a throat goat, Mike? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, man, this is gay. I don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> so I kind of, I looked at the cool, the cool coaster that we got from him. Oh, you're going to do this now? Well, yeah. I mean, it's because says of what I thought it was. No, I'm not. I'm not okay. going to say that. I'm not going to embarrass you. <laughs> Even though I know it's not. I know. Okay. But it's still funny. All right. But I looked at the coaster and I was like, oh, throat goat. Yeah. Well, I am a throat goat for beer. And you are. And so are our guests this week. Ladies and gentlemen, from Bruise and Banter, it's Frank and Roman. <laughs> Hi, guys. <Hello. laughs> Welcome to the show. Welcome to the tap room. Welcome to the tap room. Thanks for having us. So do you guys want to... Oh, yeah. you're welcome. Thank do you guys want to plug your, uh, your show? Yeah. Your socials? Go ahead and get it out of the way so our listeners can hear it. They can do it again at the end. Well, that too. <laughs> so, Bruise and Banner, uh, you can check us out on all these uh, podcast platforms. And the best way to probably get a hold of us is through Linktree. Um, you know, Linktree dot, I think, front slash, front slash, fucking Bruise and Banner. Something it's like on that. Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. But that's probably the best way to get a hold of us. There's email. There's all our socials, everything on there. Yeah. We're on Facebook and Twitter or oh, X. Yeah. Awesome. Twitter X. X Twitter. I still call it Twitter. I do too. I'm stuck on that because it's been that way forever. I think a lot of people still just call it Twitter. I'm fine with that because people know what you're talking about. Yeah. So what are you guys drinking tonight? So we're starting off with a talking cursive Oktoberfest. It's a um, 5.7% ABV. And these actually came with custom stickers on them because um, we know that you guys appreciate IPAs. And love them so much. So... Oh, they're so wine. fantastic. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. See, there's that. So are you guys drinking the same beer? Yeah, same beer. Yes. Okay. Did you see the sticker? Uh, I know. We are uh, actually not. using our Bruise and Banter coasters tonight. Oh, nice. <laughs> they came in the mail yesterday. And uh, your stuff. <laughs> were, what is it? What is it? <laughs> This is the Grace IPA. These are custom, these are custom stickers. So here's the other one. Are you serious? Are they really? Oh no! <laughs> What's that on the bottom? I can't see what that is. is it's that a, a chode. <laughs> it's a chode. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love it. Oh. Jesus, I will send you posters to mail that to us. Yeah. <laughs> that is amazing. These custom stickers, I just made them off we of We might have to send them some sign merch for that. <laughs> that's dope. Oh, that's beautiful. I love it so much. I would very much like to have a sticker. <laughs> I just want the can with the I'll, sticker on I'll, it. I'll, 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 yeah, put it, I'll put the sticker on my uh, water jug that I take to work. <laughs> <laughs> These what? stickers are just handwritten. In the work? <laughs> yeah. Okay. But it's custom. <laughs> then it's custom made. <sighs> Special for <Yeah. laughs> What Jesus are you drinking? Christ. Me? Yes. Oh, sorry. Um, They're drinking the same beer, so. It is um, Stone. How did you pronounce it earlier? Oh, I threw the box away. Oh. The pronunciation's on the box. Let me see it. Okay, there you go. Maybe you can do it again. Zocoveza. Okay. Sh or show. Show Coveza. Show Coveza. Show Coveza. Oh, right. It's an imperial Perfect. stout inspired by Mexican hot chocolate. It's nice stout weather. Oh, it's right there on the can. Oh, I it says on the can read. too. Um, um, it's brewed with chocolate, coffee, vanilla, nutmeg, cinnamon, pasilla peppers, and lactose. I'm I'm glad it's your edit. That took a minute. <laughs> oh, that took you a minute. I am starting off with uh, all reliable, but it's a new one. It's twisted tea pineapple. What? I also have in here. Oh, the triple sour. Do you want to tell them what it is for me? No, go ahead. Okay. It, it is Victory Sour Monkey Triple Sour. Oh, triple Sour. How do you order that when you're hammered? I like sours. They are delicious. Triple. I, <laughs> I go to the liquor store while I'm sober on my way home from work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, if you're at a bar, though. Mine's an 8.1%er. 
Ooh, oh for shit. Sure. Oh, you don't. You can't. You don't get sours. This is a you. this is a only drink it at home beer. They they fuck yeah. you up pretty quick, <laughs> but they are delicious. I have I'm trying this for the first time, the pineapple for the first time right now, and fuck, that's good. That's <laughs> Lipton good. This this one uh, challenges the Lipton hard teas. That's tea bag. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to try that? Yeah. How is it? Really good. It's very autumn-y. Autumn Again, with the autumn That's hard a words. Beer. That's a fall beer. Wait for the pepper. It, the pepper, the pepper, the spice comes through your nostrils. It's through the it nostrils. Your, it you clears just... your nostrils. It you clears. Walking it. it clears your sinuses. You just snorted. It's a good sinus beer. Yeah. <laughs> so wow. You... Hey, this beer it clears. You, it clears your boogers. <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I'm glad that my snorting is ah, You sound like a swine with your snorts <laughs> Oh god, are we doing this? Suey Suey Suey, piggy piggy Do you guys do impressions? We have voiceovers <laughs> I, I have a professional actor next to me And he just does the voiceovers I, just, I say shit and I think it makes sense and it doesn't Yeah. <laughs> He's a professional actor, he acts like an asshole <laughs> yeah. it, it, oh wait, no, that's it takes, me. It takes talent. Yeah. No, I act like a jackass. You gotta be good at something. Hey, you gotta. Yeah. Oh, for sure, for sure. <laughs> that's about all. You used any AI tools? Better the master editor than the master debater. The what? Master debater. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> no. No. What's AI? <laughs> is that that? Is that that robot shit? Yes. Is that? Now, now with like editing programs, they they keep adding those uh, AI tools that help you like edit voices out, background noise, and stuff like that. No, I have not. Is that a thing now? Technology's wild. <laughs> totally, like it'll make your editing huh, so much easier. Yeah, you might have to look into that. Okay. For audio editing, we use Waveform. It's a free program. Waveform. It's um, it's like. I would say like Adobe Premiere for video edit, but easy to use and learn. Interesting. Huh. Yeah, check did it you out. write that down? I did. Oh, very nice. I like easy. <laughs> yeah, that's easy. why you married me. How about interesting? How about this beard? Anybody have a comment on this thing? Oh, the beard disappearing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mine disappearing? No, his. He shaved it. Oh. No, I no. he got it. Oh, that's such a slap in the nuts. <laughs> that's what I thought you said. He's growing his <laughs> out. <laughs> Tabby thinks it disappeared. I can't see it. <laughs> you want my glasses? You want to... No. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I can see it. There we okay. go, Santa Claus. <laughs> Thanks, Pebble. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming in all nice and lush. I couldn't see it. I thought you were doing like some sort of magic trick or something. You got fucking magicians over it's the here. David Blaine of beards. Abracadabra. <laughs> do you got the hand thing in front of your face? Yeah. <laughs> oh, do you got dad jokes? No, but I do have a game. Oh, are we playing? It's called Ask the Internet. Oh, I thought we were playing Are You Garbage? I don't have those anymore. Damn it. <laughs> because every time we play, I find out I'm garbage. Yeah. No. We've played that game like five times. We've done this once on a live. Is that where Trash King comes from? No. <laughs> Dad's on Dayquil did that. Yeah, Dad's on Dayquil and Bleach Bros gave me that title. Like a year and a half ago. <laughs> yeah, I just kind of carried over. First question. If you could have an endless supply of anything... What would it be? It can only be one thing. Vagina. Good weather. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong? There's two. That's a 180, man. I'll always have good weather. <laughs> yeah, but you can't bang it then. Yeah, but I have that power. I'd rather bang you in the rain. Bang in it. There you go. <laughs> endless supply. I would have an endless supply of of stout. My- Yep, of Mile Wide <laughs> Brewing Company. <laughs> the, the, one of their stouts. Their Southern Pecan Coffee Stout. That's your favorite beer. It is my absolute favorite. That's pretty impressive. I would beer. like an endless supply of money. I'm the only one that got the right answer here. I mean, look, I got bills, dude. I have an endless supply of vagina, okay? So I don't really need that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> 
Good one. I forgot about that. <laughs> you forgot. And and I can and I can have the endless supply of that whenever she says it's okay. <laughs> endless supply with permission. It's on allocation. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, that was noise. The alcoholic is here. Yeah. Would you rather have one giant dick for an arm or have all your fingers be dicks? <laughs> all my so, fingers, man. Dick or or dicks? No. I Why want are you five looking dicks at me when you say that? <laughs> Well, see, five. There's three holes, three goals. I don't know what these other two are. They're, they're reserves. They're on the bench in case I need. <laughs> three, holes, three holes, three goals, and two in reserve. Yeah. They're, they're, they're subs. Put that on a t shirt, baby. Just, <laughs> just the other two, you're just going to bench. The other two, you just got to bench them. In case they get hurt, or or we'll put this we'll put this saying on one of those cans we send you with these with these stickers on them. Do it. Dick fingers. I, I'm be, going with dick, some dick finger. fingers. I'm going to go with the arm. Just so that I can dick dick slap people. Yeah. Well, even if your fingers were, you could you could dick slap people five times with one slap. Yeah, there's efficiency here. Yeah, but this yeah, yeah. but this one's gonna hurt more. It's it's qua- it's quantity, not quality in this situation. <laughs> it's either five tiny bat swinging or one big ass bat swinging. <laughs> I'm gonna go get swole. <laughs> your arms better be fucking swole. Doctor, you'll get penetrated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks for a prostate exam. Yeah. Ooh. Although, if uh, if you could be like Mega Man and like <laughs> shoot your arm, but it's <laughs> Spider Man. <laughs> then it gets. <laughs> then it gets <laughs> That'd be Spermy Man. <laughs> After the first, it, it's really easy to do it on the first one, but if you do try to go for a second one, it, it takes a lot longer. <laughs> An hour later, Roman's... all right, I'm starting to bleed. <laughs> I think Roman's got a joke about Spider Man. A joke? No, yeah, no like, what's, so what's that? It's not a joke. Some other guy okay. in, on the Instagram. Do you know what? Do you know what Spider Man position is in sex? Yeah. Oh, you know? Okay. See, they know. <laughs> well, what is it? Yeah, I was. I was 18 once. <laughs> but that's, that's not even a joke. Game. I was talking about. What's yeah. the one where you did that? It's where you jack off and you and oh. you, you you spooge into your own hand and then you mm-hmm. you throw it in your face. Mm-hmm. The Spider Man. The best thing about this is just watching this happen with you guys. And if if we've never done it, why are we so good at that? Go, web, go. Oh, if that ever happens, uh, I'll be a widow. It won't. <laughs> I promise you. I mean, I've already yeah, threatened divorce miss- multiple times. Every episode. I'd, not every. Almost. This is fucking Do what? Man. It's okay. He'll miss and he'll come back from with a pain chip. <laughs> That's true. What's another one? Hold on. One down. Uh, two points. Oh. Have you ever dated a person that you banged on the first or second date? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it, wasn't the first date. it was our second. Oh yeah. <laughs> so we both get a yes on that one. <laughs> <laughs> this is gold. We were pretty loaded. In Kentucky? Karaoke night. Do you need assistance? No, I just I don't no, we're not. No, related. that's what this happened with you guys? Well, your first or second date when you just did the high five was it? I was asking if it was in Kentucky. Yes, it was like I, I, didn't, I know you guys both from Kentucky. here. Mm-hmm. I don't know. No, well, I'm not from here. I've only lived here for 20 years only. And Roman's not here I from New York. New York. Yeah, I'm not from New York. <laughs> Excuse me. Nice. Very well, good. Cheers to that one. Very good burp. Yeah. We allow burping. <laughs> okay, because <laughs> I have that problem. Sometimes I'll stand up and try to fart into the microphone. <laughs> it's a good problem to have. It's really weird though, because after he does it, there's a condom on the end of it. <laughs> hey, you don't get to see my party trick. <laughs> you can make balloon animals with it. <laughs> a poodle. You make your balloon dick out of this for a giraffe. <laughs> it was a full bicycle once. <laughs> <laughs> and the kid got on it and, yeah. and, and yeah. cycled away. Yeah. The boy never left. <laughs> <laughs>
We, we could do this all night. <laughs> Title of your sex tape. I oh, Not theirs. Not really. <laughs> no. <laughs> you can't say that. You don't know about that. What they do in the shadows. Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> Patreon. Patreon only. It's on their, it's on their $10 tier. <laughs> She's scratching her chin. Her beard's itchy. My beard is itchy. She I just shaved it. today oh, and it's growing back. Right. I want to be part of the beard club. The, the beard yeah. is a fucking problem. It's going to happen. I mean, this it thing is. fucking it is. This is three and a half weeks of growth that fucking Tabby says disappears for some reason. I mean, I don't have that fucking yeah. woolly I, beast. I, it's just for magicians is the uh, beard oil that he uses. I will show you and prove to you that there is no beard that I can see. Higher. I will send that to you later. Oh, she's that picture. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get that good angle, right? <laughs> All right, let's do another. I do want to do one more. Ask the internet. There's a lot. I, well, I know. I feel like we're getting to know each other. Oh, this one's fun because it involves beating up kids. Oh, perfect. <laughs> it, if you were in an open field with an aluminum baseball bat, how many 10 year olds with bike helmets could you take down before they got you and took you down? All. I fucking just spin and spin and spin. How old are they? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 10 years old <laughs> Don't look at me for your fucking answer I'll probably, yeah, I could go for a day Because <laughs> <laughs> you'd be having so much fun, right? Yeah, I'll take some psychedelics It will look like See? fucking zombies coming at me Ooh, That's a good idea That would be fun Go tripping and beating the shit out of kids with a bat That would be fun <laughs> Now, here's my question Fuck them kids <laughs> it's the best day are they coming at you one at a time no or are they coming at you all at once uh let's let's say for the sake of entertainment they're coming at you in waves of 10 at a time okay so not like lord of the rings at, at gondor like blah, 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 no this is like... this isn't helms deep okay this is you're alone you mm -hmm. have a bat mm -hmm. here comes the first round mm -hmm. And then 30 seconds later, here comes the second round. So I've got 30 seconds to take out 10 10-year-olds. Yeah, at a time. So if there's like five that are still standing, well, here comes the next wave. Now you're dealing with 15. Aiming to kill or aiming to injure? Yes. Dealer's choice. Mm. Bingo. Before they overtook me. I would say I could at least knock out about 100. Okay. I got to change my answer. Okay. I, I didn't realize what, what was happening here in this question. So I can't take out all these 10-year-olds. If I'm going to get gang raped by 10 10-year-olds 10 at one time, I'm going to last like maybe two rounds, and then I'm fucked. <laughs> <laughs> you think so? Uh, especially if they're fucking multiplying. Like, if you don't get the – there's 10, you get one of them. Now there's fucking 19 the next time. Like, fuck. You better swing hard. Don't miss. I need that fucking dick arm. <laughs> you got your dick arm here, and then you've got your aluminum baseball bat here. <laughs> One swing, I use heads. it as a lightsaber. <laughs> One swing, five heads. Well, I can swing that five. Well, maybe oh, yeah. maybe you'll get lucky, and instead of coming at you at a horizontal line towards you, it'll be vertical. So if you if you, Line them up. If you dick arm blast them, it'll just boom, domino them, and they all go down like bing, 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 bing. But there's a lot of shit going on. I, I, could, I could dick arm blast them, I could lightsaber them, and I can fucking Spider-Man them. All right, see? Now you're, you're thinking. There you see? go. We're trying to get every angle possible to take these fuckers out. Exactly. Exactly. They're all female fuck them kids. zombies, right? Fuck them kids. Oh, wait, we were talking about kids, not zombies. Sorry. All female zombies. No. Same thing. Well, did it specify? Yeah, it didn't say 10-year-old uh, boys or 10-year-old girls, so I guess you can decide on what you want it to be. Ooh. What? Here's a question. Okay. Starting at kindergarten mm -hmm. and going all the way through 12th grade, mm -hmm. you, get, uh, you get 10 in each wave. Mm -hmm. so again, starting at kindergarten and mm -hmm. going through 12th grade. Mm -hmm. At what grade do you think that you would be overpowered? Well, kids nowadays, I think I would be overpowered at like. And well, I'll make it a little easier. Okay. The next each wave comes at you after all of them in the first wave are down. That's a lot of fucking math. So ten kindergartners, ten kindergartners, you take all of them out. Oh, that's easy. Then here comes the ten first graders. I'd be using my legs at that point and just punting the little fucks. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's it it's pure fighting skill. I think I would punt most of them up until about second or third grade. 
then that's when I would start swinging. But I would probably say ninth grade because ninth graders are fucking huge now. Now, so you think once freshmen show up, you're dead? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. What about you guys? In that case, I would say. <laughs> in in that case, I would say I'll probably last up to like ninth, tenth grade. Same. I think I would. I'm not laughing at. I think it's well, funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm five foot seven, so I might make it up to once high school starts. You're done. Once those those start rolling That's in. That's what I'm I said. Out. Freshman, ninth I grade. I mean, look at look at twelve year olds now. They're giants. Gunner is almost ten, and he is the size of a freshman. He's the same height as your mother. I know, but she's not very tall either. No. <laughs> so yeah, I I think if the four of us band together, though, we back could back. we could we could take it all the way no, to the don't. top of the mountain. Take out them seniors. Yeah. High school mm. quarterbacks. We would have to fight football teams. Ooh, fuck that. cheerleaders. We'll fuck go. We'll go under on them. I'll do it all. Yeah. If if you remember, mm-hmm. I did solo the Saint X football team. You did. But that was also like twelve years ago. When we were much younger. <laughs> yeah. I was twelve years younger also. <laughs> so <laughs> Oh, that's how math works. There you go. The higher the number, the closer to death. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the older you are, the more birthdays you have. Exactly. <laughs> and the easier it is to break your bones. And uh, I, I have a bad yeah. knee now because of the trampoline incident. <laughs> I'd like to hear about the oh, trampoline. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, here we go. <laughs> so about two years ago, we went to we went to a friend's house for his son's birthday party. They have a trampoline in their backyard. All the kids were jumping on the trampoline, and they were doing wrestling moves and shit to each other and flips. So me and our buddy, we uh, we were like, "Hey, let's get on that trampoline and show these show these young bloods how it's done." So we get up there, where you know we're pushing kids onto the ground, uh, and he said, "He goes, okay, hey, check this out. I wonder if I could still do a flip," and he does it. Jumps up a couple times, does the flip. But he's also f- like four years younger. Mind you, you, and he's a he's a he's a very in shape police officer. So okay. I remembered that back when I was ten, I could do double front flips on a trampoline. <laughs> 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 I didn't even make it. I did three jumps, and then on the fourth jump, before I even did the flip, my right knee bent sideways. <laughs> That's sort of this a move. <laughs> She's still snorting. <laughs> I did. I did one flip though, and I did land it. And then my knee bent sideways again. Uh, a second. And I one. had to carry you to the car. Yeah. And I had to. Uh, hey, look. It, it. It gave me a four day weekend. So that's all I care about. Mission accomplished. Because I couldn't walk. <laughs> I knew what I was doing. Like, uh, fuck. It's almost Monday. I'm not going to work. Fuck that. <laughs> I'm gonna break. It's- I'm going to break my leg. It's It's almost Monday. (laughs) (laughs) I I couldn't walk for four days. I had to stay on on the couch. Well, you did attempt to go to work in the crutches, and then you hit the ice. And you slipped. I did, and then I and then my boss said, uh, because I work at a factory, we're not allowed to have crutches on the floor. So he said, Why are you here? Go home. Okay. Don't have to tell me. I was like, All right. (laughs) See ya. So did you, you said then you hop to the car? <laughs> I'm going to hop on out of here. Yeah, well, and I, I did fall on, I was using my crutches and I fell. Okay. Uh, Graceful exit. Because, make... well, the crutches were for people who are six feet and taller. I'm five foot seven, or eight, mm-hmm. I'm five foot eight. Oh, you look taller. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Well, I'm sitting down, that's why. <laughs> You guys, it is. I'm, I'm, I'm in a regular chair, but I'm standing up in it. I have a really long torso. You're a urinal's nightmare. I have dick legs. (laughs) Let's see you kick the microphone. (laughs) (laughs) So, speaking of embarrassing stories, do you guys have any embarrassing stories? Yeah. Ooh, there's a lot of embarrassing stories. Oh my god! I see. My problem is I need to. Like... And and then you can tell them the embarrassing story about your brother's basketball game. <laughs> so yeah, we'll hear we'll hear that too because we want to. But I don't have. I have a lot of embarrassing stories. My, my it's basically a whole embarrassment. But I don't like things got to trigger me. Like, something's got to come up to to have me remember 
what that embarrassing story would be, like some sort of scenario, like just, hey, you know, I went to a game once and I did this. Okay, now I'll remember. There's some fuck up I had in the game, and that's how it kind of comes up for me. I have an embarrassing story. If oh, then tell it. Tell hold it. on, hold on, one second, Robin. <laughs> if you tell the basketball story, I've already told it. Not to them. They can listen to it on the inner idiot. I will tell the vent story, the floor vent. Mine's not embarrassing. And wild turkey to me. Mine's embarrassing to me. Well, yeah. So you're bringing that story back. Oh, Bring I'm gonna tell it to them. Combination: floor vent and wild turkey. <laughs> yeah, it's a well, bad combination. Yeah, wild well, turkey and a floor vent and a toilet. Well, and girls. Oh, Lots oh, of now girls. Right. Something fishy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I took a shower, so it's not me. <laughs> I can't believe you can smell me from all the way over here. <laughs> you took one too. It's not me. I know. <laughs> I was making a joke. I know. That's why I'm laughing. <laughs> See, <there are> two. <laughs> so is Frank and Serge Tankian. And who? <laughs> the what singer the for System party? of a Down. You look just like the sick. Oh. Serge Tankian, the singer yeah, for System of a yeah. Down. So someone else we were on, they talked about Roman looked like a um, a used car salesman <laughs> for Buick. <specifically. laughs> Was he wearing a short sleeve button up shirt with a tie? No, no. The guy said Roman should be wearing a track suit and selling BMW. <laughs> I wish I had a track suit. <laughs> Dad! <laughs> oh my god! Can we can we make like tap room bruise and banter crossover logo track suits? That would be dope. I would wear the shit out of it. I want the bruise and banter logo so where the dick goes though. And then we go. <laughs> we can make that the... happen. Look at that guy. <laughs> well, no. Instead of instead on the logo, instead of two dudes with beards, instead of beards, it's dicks coming off their chins. <laughs> oh, yeah. We'll be like that uh, uh, pirate from Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah, yeah. right. Medusa guy. Or Medusa. <laughs> yeah, uh, Davy Jones. He says, uh, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, he goes. Uh, yeah, he's always like clicking. He's like uh, Jack Sparrow. <laughs> Hot and Jack Sparrow. <laughs> All right. So Roman had an embarrassing story, and I'm dying to hear yeah. it. So I was in high school, and. uh as I'm we a all good were. kid. I'm a good kid, you know. I always volunteer to be the designated driver. So one day we went to a party, and I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm always driving. This time I'm drinking. And I went overboard and I had too much Bacardi Limon. <laughs> so now I can't even stand the smell of that. So I got so drunk that I sat in the kitchen table and there's all these girls sitting on the like, kitchen countertop. And then I remember hearing them saying, Roman, are you okay? Uh-huh. And I put my head down and I started sweating really bad and I just felt that coming. <laughs> so the good thing, the bathroom was close by. So oh, I, no. I run into the bathroom. <laughs> I yak my brains out in uh, front of them. You should have shit. <laughs> then I'm puking, and they're, like, trying to comfort me and feel bad for me. And then my friend who threw the party, his mom was upstairs. He goes, my mom is coming to use the bathroom. I jumped in the fucking tub, or maybe they threw me in the tub, and they, <laughs> and they closed the curtains. <laughs> so his mom, I don't know if she took a shit or pissed in the bathroom Ugh. while I was in the tub laying there. I'm sure she knew I was laying there can't fucking not hear me and whatever she did her business i was in the tub <laughs> passed out <laughs> uh. and then she leaves and all these guys come back in and they're like oh my god this is fucking crazy are you okay and then my phone ring <laughs> jesus and my, going? my phone rings and it's my mom and i'm like I'm, I'm dying i'm yakking and then i pick up the phone and i go hey mom how you doing <gasps> she's She's like, are you going to be late? I was like, yeah, maybe stay till 11 and then I'll be home. She's like, everything's good. I'm like, yeah, everything's good. Love you. Bye. Bleh. <laughs> oh. And then the guys were like, the guys were like, I thought you were fucking with us. You went from being shit faced to like 100% sober and then back to shit faced. 
the last thing I remember was someone was trying to give me some Advil or something, and they were getting yelled at, and then I woke up in my underwear. Fuck. And I don't know what happened. Roman is my people. Roman is my people. This is a Tuesday after fucking breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. That's not how you're supposed to day drink. <laughs> That's my yeah. well, what's Although, your story? you are a young man. You are still in your in your rookie stages of drinking. Do you want to go or do you want me to go? No, I'm I I have a couple of drinking embarrassing stories. That's not the one that the listeners I'm not, want. No, they can go to the Inner Idiot podcast. All right. And listen to that one. All right. Because All right. for some reason everybody thinks my brother is a god. <laughs> I think so. You don't want to glorify your brother. That's why. No, I don't because he's everybody's favorite, and you know, fuck me. Shout out to Jace. I do. Shout out to Jace. <laughs> well, do you want to think of a story, and then while you're doing that, I'll tell mine. I mean, I've already told the aftershock story multiple times. This is for for our guests. I drank one of the. You, you guys know what aftershock is, right? If you don't, I'll show you. No, with the crystals in. I remember. I used to eat those crystals. Okay. Yeah. Oh. You ate them? Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's king oh, it burns right That's the bane of my existence. It's like That's shitting out glass. It's no good. It's like puking glass at the same time, yeah. too. <laughs> but I drank one of the big, big bottles. Are you going to tell your uh, wild turkey yeah. shit and floor vent story? Wild turkey 151. <laughs> this story has been retired for well over a year. Here. It is. I'll bring it back. It's it's for these guys. Go right ahead. I like these guys. They're funny. They're <laughs> awesome. They're super cool. So for them and you, the listener, I'm going to open the vault and bring this story out. It was New Year's Eve, 2002. I was 17 years old. I had just moved here uh, the prior summer. New friends at school. Going in. I was in my junior year of high school. And... A uh, buddy of mine whose brother went to the University of Louisville, him and his frat bros had a house in LaGrange, Kentucky, which is about a half hour north of here. So New Year's Eve at the house, there's liquor, beers, and girls. <laughs> Nothing better. And some guys. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? well, well, the guys were my fr- the guys were my f- people that I went to high school with and my friends and their friends. All the girls were the girls from uh, our school, the high school. It was all high school chicks. So the liquor, uh, the popular liquor was Wild Turkey 151. They don't make it anymore, thankfully. For for me, they don't make it anymore. So, but they. uh, That shit is paint thinner. The. uh, Agreed. The frat bros had several of the gallon bottles of it. And also beers. So me and the guys were, were drinking beers, doing shots, making cocktails out of it. And I had enough to the point of where, in my mind's eye, all the ladies were there for me. <laughs> so I start making my round. <laughs> my confidence was sky high. I was on the moon. And uh, so... I start, <laughs> I start talking to the girls, one by one, shot down, shot down, shot down. So then I get into a little bit of a self self loathing depression. So I go sit at the table, in the kitchen by myself, and I start chugging wild turkey. Seven, I'm 17 years old. You don't chug like this. No, it wasn't like this. It was more like this. <laughs> Because gravity. <laughs> it's easier to open the throat that way. Yeah. Bro, go. So I get up. <laughs> Woohoo. So I get up from the table and I I walk past the bedroom and I hear noises, sex noises coming from the bedroom. I open the door and one of my buddies is doing business with one of the ladies at the party. Mm-hmm. So I just walk in the room and I'm just standing there doing business. <laughs> Filing your taxes. Yeah, uh, he was. He was. He was paying a bill. <laughs> <laughs> and 
and uh, they got mad at me. And I got and uh, had to walk me out of the bedroom. So, I would have done the same. So I walk, I walk myself in into the bathroom. Excuse Ooh. me, weird guy standing there watching me. Oh no, it wasn't weird. It was one of my buddies. It was my best friend. One of my best friends, Justin. Follow the candy trail. Yeah, <laughs> I was following. I was I was a toucan. I was following my nose. I was the Fruit Loops bird. Follow your nose. I know, but you said Fruit Loops. Fruit Loops. And your buddy Justin. Toucan. You were just digging a hole. Continue. Continue. So I go into the bathroom because I feel throw ups coming along. So I get I put my head into the toilet, do some throw ups. Well, now my stomach is rumbling, but it's going backwards. So now I have to take a shit. <laughs> so I stand up. I flush my throw up quickly. Take all of my clothes off. Now I'm naked because you can't you poop pass. with clothes on. I don't like to poop with clothes on. <laughs> So I sit down and I start to and I start to poop. Well, as I'm pooping, I can feel more throw ups coming. So I jump off of the toilet, put my face back into the toilet and start throwing up. While I'm throwing up, more poops start coming out. <laughs> Behind me on the floor is a is a floor vent. <laughs> I start shitting. <laughs> you just snort. I'll give you a minute. I'll give you a minute to collect yourselves. <laughs> it's like fucking extraction factory. I just snort. <laughs> What did he say? He just snorted too. <laughs> I can't breathe. I'll give you a minute. I'll give you a minute to collect yourselves. So, Are we talking about or natural gas furnace here? The vent. Either way, it's a shitty well, situation. Just well, so I turn around while I'm after I the poop sort of comes to a, a screeching halt. I take. I take the vent off cover. of the floor, the, the vent cover off of the floor. That was very Mind courteous. you, it is winter. It is winter, so, you know, the heat is on in the house. Oh, and I'm shitting <laughs> into the in, into the duct. <laughs> that's like that's like god level <laughs> operator. <laughs> Did you guys ever hear upper decker? Oh yeah, oh, that's yeah. where you shit into the tank. Yep, I've done yep. that before too. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. Vomiting. yeah, you just cut off so, the middleman. You just fucking knocked that process down thirty three percent. I did. So the next thing, and then the, the next thing I know, it I realize it's it's like about eight o'clock in the morning. I wake up <laughs> covered in my own shit and sick. Went out for twelve hours. <laughs> It was probably about five hours. It's officially 2003 <laughs> at this point. So I wake up nude, covered in my own shit and sick. My clothes are also covered in that. So I jump in the shower. Thankfully, it had a removable shower head so I could kind of hose myself off. Those are nice. I like those. I dry it off. Imagine put my one. underwear back on. And uh, <laughs> and uh, I put my underwear on, put my clothes in a garbage bag, walk in uh, puke and shit covered underwear, barefoot through the snow to my car. There's a puke on your underwear. And uh, I threw I threw up on my underwear too. <laughs> I was well. Remember, I was I was naked during this event. So I throw my clothes in the back of my car I and I I drive home. Got a. Got a very stern talking to when uh, yeah. the following Monday when school was in session. And uh, I I lost all of those friends, and I was not allowed to hang out with any of them ever again. Mm -hmm. And here you are, married to that scolding, still alive because she saved your life from doing something stupid along the way. Well, I met her six years later. Oh. Oh, that fucking shit's on that theory. 
Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I didn't go to school. Not at, not you, at a school. Mm-mm. You homeschooled? I was. Yeah, some say she, okay. she still is. Yeah. Because learn every day is a every you day. learn a new thing every day. Oh my god! I can't believe you brought back the poop story. The new I am so that proud that's, of you. Thank you. That story mm-hmm. is my Burt Kreischer's machine story. <laughs> so does that mean we have to make a movie of it? Oh my god, we should. Mm-hmm. We've got the equipment. We have a kid. When he turns seventeen, I'm going to get him fucked up. I <laughs> just throw him to the wolves and film it. It'll be found footage. It'll be a found footage movie. <laughs> Here, kid, where this GoPro? No, babe, it'll be the first found footage comedy. I think that's I think that's called child abuse. No, because we'll, we'll be there. Oh, yeah, we seventeen. It's We're... still child abuse. No, dress him up It'll be fine. Fine. Okay, fine, yeah. fine, fine. Yeah, ah! put a loin put a loincloth on. We'll call it Tarzan. Uh... Film technology will be far beyond the CGI that it is now. In the next, it'll be okay. Years. Yeah. It'll be okay. Yeah. He'll be in seven years. Yeah, it'll be fine. Ooh. He'll be fine. Ooh. We'll be there to monitor because we've been there. We've done that. So we know how to handle emergency situations. Yes. You are well prepared. And equipped. Assuming he, assuming well, well, all teenagers, all teenagers drink. Mm-hmm. Most of them. I didn't drink. Well, you Until were Until I was 20. You weren't allowed because Jesus frowns upon that. <laughs> Unless it's wine. Or but he'll fish. give you his blood to drink. It's wine. <laughs> yeah, really weird. Yeah. And then he flips tables. <laughs> right. What was your first alcohol? Because he didn't get the, he didn't get the poker hand that he wanted. Mine? Yeah. Well, we've done me. No, my first alcohol that I've ever drank was vodka and cherry Kool Aid. That is good. Mm, that's pretty. Simple. I didn't know there was vodka in the cherry Kool Aid. I come back from a metal show. And everybody's drinking it. And I'm like, oh, I'm thirsty. I'll yeah, drink it. Yeah, Jim Jones, drink the Kool-Aid. <laughs> I didn't know. That happened to me when I was a kid. I was playing outside and I was really thirsty. And we had a party in the house. And I just run up. I, I grabbed the glass that looked like water. And just thirsty. And I took a sip. Yeah, that, fuck, that was my first drink. <laughs> I I'm did, never I thirsty. I did give our child alcohol. They sleep better, right? <laughs> well, it was... It was That's on true. accident. It was on accident. He he wanted Kool Aid. We were at my parents' house, and he wanted Kool Aid. Oh Jesus! So I poured him a big glass of Kool Aid, and it wasn't until <laughs> after he finished it that my mom goes, "You didn't pour that Kool Aid, did you?" I said, "Yeah." He wanted some Kool Aid, and she goes, "Well, there's tequila in that." No. Oh. <laughs> then your kids in bed. Arriba, arriba. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want tacos. I'm so hungry for tacos right now. Taco Tuesday. <laughs> oh, bring me queso. Hombre. He did call me hombre, which was really weird. <laughs> and then he, he called me essay and vato. I don't know. That was strange. Oh man, it was funny though. He and, did he did and, go to bed right away. And right he away became later. a Raiders fan that day too. <laughs> well, you can't hold him responsible for that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll love him anyway. Yeah. Well, it's okay because he had to spend the night with my he was my parents were letting him spend the night that night, so we didn't have to bring him home. <laughs> did you, you guys get a refill? Raiders fan? A refill. What are you guys drinking? I see a new can. Oh, I'm oh, drinking I'm on the my, same stuff. My third can of this. It's a tall. Are you, boy, are you gonna? But I'm gonna see. Are you gonna crack in? Are you gonna oh, crack in that whole goddamn huge ass can? I have a crack in. Film a are film a crack. Familiar with this? I the crack are you? Are you familiar with this tool? Yes. I am not. I don't know what the fuck this thing is. It, it punctures the hole in the bottom, and then you open. Oh, this is it's a tool. Well, instead of oh, instead of knife shotgun, you yeah. are you really? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got to do the TikTok. <laughs> Will it cracken? Will a it tall crackin'? boy? I'm gonna cracken and shotgun a tall boy. Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. I gotta get there. I gotta get there. Because I'm Frank and Roman crack. are awesome. I will. Yeah, thank you. Oh. You guys are awesome too. Release the. Cr- <laughs> Stick your tongue in you the hole the- first, <laughs> and then use the tool. <laughs> Now it's lubed. Uh, all right. Ah, that's a Gene Simmons tongue. And well, oh, uh, I wanted to go in dry with this thing. <laughs> it's like a dry finger. In the you, can. You never go in. I use one of my five dick fingers. 
Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm the plug. <laughs> yeah. All right. Are you ready? Are you going to? Oh, I'm going to TikTok I, it. Oh, we're going to we're going to make a TikTok of me doing this. All right. Yeah, okay. Well, and you snort in the middle doing? of a tip. <laughs> Probably if he drowns in the oh, twisted tea pineapple. You can't run a Coke. Oh. <laughs> Just yep. kidding. We don't do drugs. <laughs> hey, guys. This is the Grace well, Taproom Podcast. We don't, we don't do illegal drugs. Grace Taproom Podcast. Grace Taproom Podcast. He's Mike. Yep. I'm Trash Can. And he's... Cracking. TikTokshop.com or whatever. What, what the fuck? Just do it. Let's right, go. Go, 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 go. should time it. Um, I've got a timer. Oh, God. I have to now. <laughs> oh, it's a oh, fucking tall boy. It is a tall boy. <laughs> He's in pain. Okay. Oh shit! I did it. That was like 13 seconds. Good job. Wow. Grace Tapper podcast, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Thank you. Oh my god. Wow. That was good. That doesn't get wild. Wild. You're gonna feel that in about 10 minutes. Or sooner. At least, at least 10 views. Uh, at least 10. Yeah. Yeah. Because you know you we only need 20 more win? people to follow us on fucking TikTok. So how many people do you follow you? We have 980. Yeah. Oh, geez. We need 20 more to go live. Yeah. Oh, is that what the parameter is? Because we're, we're not on TikTok. We don't, we don't approach that. It's a different type of entity. Yeah. We mostly do the radio station, get drunk, and record TikToks. So did I ruin it by talking? Tonight at 11 p.m. No. Oh. No. No, we in their headphones and she was recording. They couldn't hear it. Yeah. It, oh. it, the audio for the, for your audio won't show up because she did it on her. Yeah, she did it on her phone. Mm-hmm. Cool. I even if it did, it doesn't. Even if we did it, uh, made a TikTok through this, it's. No. Oh, it wouldn't matter anyway. You would just be, be on there. It okay. would be fine. Mm-hmm. I can make a TikTok. Can... Make TikToks of this episode with clips. Then let's do it. I got to link the accounts. Okay. I haven't done that yet. Oh, well, we can do that tomorrow. Next time we do a live. Okay. Yeah. Which is so, often. So right, right now, you guys are. Uh, yeah, that was impressive, by the way. But right now, you guys are like current with us. There's been a little bit of a delay for us. So I don't really know what's happening before. Yeah. <laughs> are you good? That tasted weird. <laughs> Title of your second sex tape? No, it tastes like well, latex. if it is, then that's because of you. Tastes like latex. <laughs> if <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. that's only. <laughs> well, again, we don't want to make more work for you, but we'll do a live together also. But um, I'm still good to go. But I need more beer because I'm out. You're out. Yeah, okay. I'm out of this beer. Look at that. See, I fucking out drank fucking beard boy over here. Hello, I am Big C, and I am joined by my co-host, Jay. We are the Porn Connoisseurs. Together, we make up the Porn Stash Podcast. Join us as we discuss kinky reddits, hilarious porn bloopers, urban dictionary sex position, porn recommendations, reviews of the best porn parodies, and so much more. Join the rest of the compadres and give us a listen every other Tuesday damn near everywhere you find your podcast so get those ear holes lubed up and ready we're coming for you Ew, i had to drain my yogurt slinger <laughs> wait hold on did roman roman did you go jack off <laughs> yeah no no it's a yogurt slinger but i had to drain urine the sweat the one eyed trouser snake ah <laughs> You said yogurt slinger. You had to drain your yogurt slinger, so I thought you went to go jack off real quick. No, he it's really likes this yogurt, episode. But, but there are other, <laughs> there are other liquids. Wait, can, you, can you see it still? <laughs> hey, Frank, you got something on your forehead. You got some white shit on your forehead. You might want to paper towel that. What is this, hair gel? <laughs> You're good. Ah, oh, look at him. Yeah. He, his hair slicked back. He looks like Arthur Fonzarelli now. It's not long enough to be that way. What's wrong? You guys there? Yeah. 
So I, our our son texted us. He goes, "Can you bring my phone charger?" I'm like, "That mommy and daddy can't drive right it's now, buddy." It's quarter. Why is he not passed out yet? He woke up at three thirty this morning. Mom, mommy and daddy have had a few. We've had uh, some uh, grandpa. Tell him little... to tell him to use Mimi's. We've been sipping on grandpa's cough medicine tonight. You've been <laughs> sucking back on grandpa's old cough syrup. <laughs> I love that movie. Mo- use Mimi's charger. Mommy, mommy will bring it to you tomorrow. What? <laughs> I am not know fucking laughing at. I, I told Mimi's him that. Fucking dummy, man. I... <laughs> Amateur. That, your edible's kicking in, isn't it, Frank? I don't know. We Frank... took this in three hours ago. Frank's edible's kicking in. I don't know. I don't know how how are you feeling with your edible and the beers? Are you crossfaded right now, my guy? Uh, I'm good. This guy's fucking. Ugh. It's his first one. I'm a mess. I missed my whole mouth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nah, the fucking whole title move. Title of your sex tape. No, it's oh, fucking whole move. There you go. All right. Title of your sex tape. No. Title so of your sex tape. I, I, could, I'm like Captain America. I could do this all day. <laughs> only fans, for Frank. Man, only Franks. It's just, it's all dicks and penises. <laughs> <laughs> hey, right. that's a new app. Uh, Bruce and Banter Productions app. Mm-hmm. Only Franks. In collaboration with Grace Taproom. Bring your own buns. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Hey, as, as long as as long as your listeners jump over, jump ship, and come over to us as well, then yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, for that's sure. gonna do it for the trash can tonight, guys. You all have fun. Yeah. The sausage fest. You just uh, you gotta stay. <laughs> Sharing is caring. I'm the only thing keeping it. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not weird. Polly. Uh, How are we doing? Are we doing? What's okay? really weird? I think we're. All- I think we're all talking about different things right now. <laughs> Fuck, I just spit on this thing, too. For... No fucking mess. <laughs> Get your life together, Frank. God damn it. It's, it's how many, useful, Frank, yeah. how many edibles did you have? Well, just the one. How many edibles did Frank have tonight? One. It was one. A, how many milligrams was it? A 50? No, was it, was it... no it, this was a mystery package. I'm not right? sure. It was, it was like a Cracker like Jack. Zip oh, bag. that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Joey Diaz over here. <laughs> but I had two more beers before Roman before he came over to the studio. But um, okay. we're just, All right. I don't know. All right, cocksuckers. I feel like we need to rope Scooby-Doo in on this to figure out the mystery. Of- <laughs> <laughs> Zip what bag. Oh, like Zoix, how many edibles did Frank have tonight? <laughs> What? <laughs> Shaggy? I I know why they <laughs> I know why they ate the edibles is to make us more funny. <laughs> to make us funny. No, 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 no. Yeah, no. We guys we <laughs> talked to you guys on a live before. <laughs> yeah, one of our lives. No, you guys. No, for yeah, you know, something for us. Like we we just never done an edible before, or I hadn't. But um, the other ones we did, they didn't work. So what we're doing now is not because you guys. We're trying to fucking. This is make Frank's, us not look like so much big idiots. This I, is Frank's first ride. Yeah. Come I on. Love it. I All love right. it. I love it. I, I I honestly right now feel honored that you guys did that before you came on the show because it's made it so <laughs> funny. I wish you could have done it during I, I wish you could have done it during the show so we could put it on YouTube of Frank dropping an edible like live. <laughs> just the, <laughs> the, the 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 as it goes on. Oh, like hey gang, Frank's about to have an edible right now. Zoinks. <laughs> Frankie snacks. Yeah. No, this this so for I mean we took the same gummy. Apparently, I don't know whatever was in this bag. It looked like the same. Did. But all it feels like now is that I drank like. Uh, you know, twelve beers instead of fucking eight, or fucking I mean, like it. Just I know earlier in the podcast we're sort of laughing about something. I I don't remember what it was, but I couldn't stop. He laughing. was vomiting and shitting at the same time while before naked. that even. I think and I it went a... into the vent nah. with heat up. I was trying to vomit. And shit oh, it was me butt. snorting. That's right. That's when right. you were telling the story, I would, I pictured it as animated, and it made me fucking laugh my. Okay, ass he's up. got the belt. <laughs> 
I do have a belt. I have a champ. I have a championship belt. Roman's got a championship custom. ring. We got a we got a custom ring. Check this thing out. What? I, oh, oh my god! Awesome. You have a Super Bowl ring, and I'm a no. I'm I'm a champion at the moment. Me and Roman are world champions. Well, then me and Tabby got something to shoot. Here's for. my title. Frank gets to steal the title from me. Nice. Oh, okay. That's different. So that's so better. You can't really lose that title. Roman can lose the title that we have. Do they know about you, daddies? Do you know about you, daddies? Okay. okay. No. I know about my dad. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Roman's ring. Roman's ring. That's a that's a, a you daddy ring or or any any challenge for this matter. But right now we started with. You know, there's a competition or something we got to do a pound round. We call it a pound round. So you got to see who many, how many, how many beers you could drink in an hour. Whoever wins gets this ring. No, hold on. It's who can finish four beers first. You have an hour. Oh, see, he's already fucking cheating. But we're gonna get this right. So publicly now, everybody knows the rules because Roman's saying it. So it's a pound round, and then whoever wins gets to keep this ring. But then when they when they get the ring, the the loser owes them you daddies, which is like um like a you daddy is like whatever question someone asks. Say like uh you know Tabby talks to Mike. Hey Mike, if um you had to suck a girl's dick, who would it be? And then Mike would have to say Wait, you what? daddy. Oh. A girl's dick. You mean like a trans? Anybody. No. <laughs> no, no, I... oh. <laughs> said a no. girl's dick. It wasn't a, a real question. Right a dick. <laughs> That's right. Just <laughs> extremely I mean, clitoris. No, I'm not, like the you dad is any any question like Roman, if you had to stick your tongue up any guy's ass, who would it be? And he'd have to answer you daddy. <laughs> You daddy. Okay. So he you yeah. would have to answer the question Brian with Reynolds. you daddy. That's right. Yeah. That's how I know you're straight as hell. That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> See? Yeah. Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> if you had to tongue punch a dude's fart box, who would it be and why? Ryan Reynolds. Is it because of Deadpool? Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, this is well, you have, you have fucking dreams about this. This is not your nightmares. This is like fucking Lollipops and fucking rainbows for you. No rainbows. I'm still laughing at, <laughs> still laughing at tongue punching fart bucks. <laughs> oh, yeah, you could tongue punch. You could tongue punch the. <laughs> you, could just, you could tongue punch the dirt star. Tongue punch the balloon knot. All these things. Oh my god! I'd be like a Budweiser frog on that shit. <laughs> <laughs> you, can't make it, you can't make any better reference to like Kentucky is like there's nothing better there like a whiskey of some sort but like frog uh let's see here. angels envy rabbit hole buffalo uh yeah shout out woodford to Je- shout out for jeff woodford reserve woodford, all the bourbons unfortunately jim beam we we live in a yeah buffalo trace is like a half an hour from us we live in a five mile radius of about 95% of the bourbons produced in this country or in the world. Mm-hmm. So your tap water contains 0.10% of alcohol. Your tap water is non alcoholic. It, it does. We have, yeah. Our tap water, water is bourbon. Well, water? Who drinks water? We only drink water. alcohol water. here. No, water water's gay. We drink we drink bourbon. <laughs> you guys do the original hop water. We hate bitches. White... Yes. <laughs> you wash dishes with bourbon. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. We bathe ourselves in bourbon. Let's see who. What's downtown? Angels. Jesus Christ. Christ. Rabbit hole. Uh, the bourbon. There's Maker's Mark. Rabbit hole. No downtown. Maker's Mark has a distillery downtown. Oh yeah. Fight. Fight. Maker's Mark. Rabbit hole. Buffalo Trace. Bu- Buffalo does not have one downtown. Oh, it doesn't. No. No. Um, oh, Angels the Maker's. Envy. The Maker's is on Muhammad Maine, Ali. Maine. 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 Um. I'm trying to think of the other one. That's right, because it's across the street from the Kentucky Center. Yes. And the or the Um Center. Yep. Um, I mean the the three local ones. Angels. Is Angels Envy Rabbit Bullet. Hole and uh, Bullet is actually towards Bardstown Road. Okay. Or Bardstown Road, Bardstown, Kentucky. So there's three downtown. Mm-hmm. There are three of the world's bourbon distilleries, two miles on the other three. side of that banner. Three. 
Three miles. Downtown's three miles? Mm -hmm. It seems faster. That's because I drive like 70 miles. Oh, because we run over college kids on yeah. the way to get bourbon. Hey, college so kids. So ten year olds. All, all, only fucking all ten year olds. Yeah. Yes. No, eight these are eighteen year olds. We cheat. Uh, you're twice as hard in your car. <laughs> we run over and yeah, instead of instead of fist fighting them, we just run them over with a car. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, those those three distilleries are three three miles? Is that what you said? Yes. Three miles that way. So where's your border? Uh, I mean, I have not looked. I'm not really fucking sure about the map. So, and we did it a gummy. We've had beers. Yeah, so you're fuck funny. everybody. But how far are you? Like, what's your borders? You got you border uh, West Virginia? No, no, no. So where we're at in Indiana, Louisville? Indiana's right there. Indiana is mm -hmm. four miles. That Indiana's way. that way. Tennessee is that way. But Tennessee is also three miles. That Illinois way. is that way. So oh, we've yeah. got Indiana north, Tennessee south, we're, Illinois. We, we border the west, Virginias. The Virginias. But we do we do border on the east, uh, West Virginia and Virginia. So Illinois, Indiana, both of the Virginias and Tennessee. Yeah, but we're closer to Indiana. Like literally four miles that way, we can be in Indiana. Yeah, Indiana's like right there. I uh, we, I have, oh, we got Covering Kings, but that's a brandy. We're at Indiana. I think I think they were in Syracuse, Indiana. To be honest, with you, sorry, and uh, but I'm talking about. So I, I I thought you kind of were closer West Virginia, but we uh we just talk about places on the East Coast because it's tougher on the West Coast for everybody. But it's um oh I didn't really, I didn't I didn't realize how um yeah so I was in Ohio and Indiana uh I'm sorry. at the same day because it's very close by. So I don't know how guy how far you guys were from Indiana. Yeah. With, with the talk. We're we're about. Two hours from Cincinnati. Hour and a half. Hour and a half. We're about an hour and a half away from Cincinnati. Okay, so I was probably only uh, two and a half hours from you guys on the way back. Okay, yeah. Mm. We're, we're two and a half hours directly south of Indianapolis. If that helps. I see. No I know. I know. I mean, I am not the, I'm not some sort of geographical fucking pro. I just was curious and I knew that was Jalen? Oh, I'm I not. am. I, I know. Fred I know. Franklin. I know where everything is. You guys, are you guys familiar with the Kentucky Derby? That racetrack is in our neighborhood. Four, we're four oh, blocks oh, from, oh, it. Yeah. from it. Okay. Oh, that's yeah. yeah. That's yeah, a great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we're yeah. four. Yeah. We we live we live four blocks on the back stretch of the Kentucky of Churchill Downs, mm -hmm. where the Kentucky Derby yeah. is. You're on lockdown. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah. it's a four day drinking weekend, so yeah, we have we have block parties. All, yeah. all of us and our neighbors, we play cornhole. We and we get fucked up. You sell any your any your yard for parking spots? We don't really have a front yard, and people don't park this far back. <laughs> I like to throw things at rich people during the now, derby. I do say we had that that one frat boy who was drunk as shit our first year here for derby. Yeah, he he had the no our no. first year our first year here during derby they were having the blm protests at the track oh yeah we had to lock down with the guns and yeah shit. yeah they were so having second riots. year they're having riots that's right at the track so second year there was a college kid who was walking around in like the cargo shorts and like the the slippers that was like don't touch me my dad will sue you kind of look yeah he was drunk as shit trying to find his car i'm like right i threw a beer can at him Good luck drop to you, a, sir. Drop a piano on that fucker's head. Yeah. Oh, I wish. <laughs> I wish. I wanted to fight him. Acne that shit. <laughs> he lost Slap him with a dick arm. <laughs> the dick, Daddy dick arm blast. Yeah, he lost dad's yeah. Porsche. Porsche. Oh, no, I feel bad for him. I would love to. Yes. I, no. <laughs> I'll pick his boogers with my dick fingers. I'm going to pick his boogers <laughs> with my dick fingers. You got a dick arm, though. Gets no. No. Or does Tab have <laughs> a dick arm? More holes. I have the arm. Okay, she's got three holes. I have the arm. arm. I got three I holes, got three holes. Yeah, five digits. You know what? All four yeah. of us, if we're starting the way I'm looking at it, Tabby can have a tattoo that says three. Mike has holes. Roman has three. And I have goals. We can all get a tattoo. Hey, there you go. That would be. <laughs> and we'll get them tattooed on our knuckles. <laughs> Prison tats. No. Yeah, gangsta style. <laughs> Bingo. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. I'll get a tattoo machine. We'll make a trip. Let's make a trip up north. Let's go. You know what's funny, guys? I'm in. We recently, 
on our podcast we talked about this competition. It's a anal beauty pageant. pageant yeah. yeah, anal beauty pageant. And this one girl won, and she had a tattoo on her asshole of a flower. <laughs> so we were wondering, <laughs> as a tattoo artist, that's a pretty risky position, right? <laughs> like, do the needles trigger farts? Like, is there some kind of a nerve triggering? <laughs> and do you pay extra for yeah. that? <laughs> Bleach it first. What's going on here? We Paint know. Canvas? I, what? I, I know of at least two tattoo artists that I can ask. I'm gonna message Charlie. I was gonna say Charlie's one of them. I can message Hannah. Yeah, I'm on it right now. I, oh my god. I was laughing my ass off just picturing of a tattoo artist cringing as he's tattooing because no. a fart could escape at any second. I cringe. I don't give a fuck. I just want to know what position the person was in getting that tattoo. <laughs> yeah, was there like a like Bend a over, make your knees touch your elbows. And yeah. then the hole just cut out around the asshole. <laughs> this is no, yeah, it's like reverse whatever you're in stirrups for your gynecologist. No, that, no. yourself over. Yeah, no, <laughs> at that point, honestly, I would be butthole naked. If I'm getting my butthole tattooed, everybody's gonna be watching. Why do you gotta take your shirt and bra for a butthole tattoo? Because it's fun and I yeah, sweat you know, profusely when, when I get a tattoo. That's fair. And you need a clean canvas. You don't want all something nice to work with. That's fair. <laughs> I'm just Maybe maybe they're in like on the table in the fetal position. No, where their butthole is like spread open. I have the answer to this because I know what I would do. I'm not a tattoo artist, but if you are getting a tattoo on your butthole, I'm putting you in an aversion table so that your head is down, and your your feet almost touch the ceiling, and I'm working at eye level. See, I would be afraid of that because all the blood would rush to your head, and then you'd pass out. No, I out. think what you do is is you put them on the table and you do the reverse dog position like yoga. downward facing dog downward facing dog yeah yeah that's kind of what i was thinking oh. too of where they're yeah the mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay <laughs> that checks unless they put them in stirrups yeah oh that is that's invasive as fuck yeah uh, <laughs> that no for me Whew. i'll just fucking farm it out i'll get a sticker made and i'll paste it over your asshole done Temporary tattoos on this butthole, baby. Why's it got to be temporary? I don't want a real tattoo the wrong on name on it. What if you get the wrong name on it? Or what if it's oh. misspelled? Right. No one's going to see it. No, but what if you change genders? No, <laughs> no regrets. You know what? That actually sounds like a really fun tattoo to get tattooed around my butthole. Misgender me? No, no oh. regrets. Oh. <laughs> I want to. I want to tattoo my butthole that says "It's Ma'am." Ma no. I, I feel like now your your friends who are tattoo artists are going to be yeah. getting these orders from you <laughs> because of me. No, mine's exit only. That's what I'm getting tattooed. <laughs> See, I've always wanted something on my lower back, like a tramp stamp that says "Insert burrito here." You should. You should say "Fire <laughs> Escape." Ooh, I like that one. <laughs> Fire Escape. <laughs> Alternate talk. You like if she put the big dick arm instead of five dick fingers down that fire escape. Yeah, we haven't heard a snort much from from Tabby lately. <laughs> there, oh, there he goes. <laughs> I'm gonna cut out all of the snorts in this one. I'm not gonna cut them out, but I'm gonna save them and I'm gonna no, send you, you the MP3 so you can make that like a text tone for yourself. Because you know, hey, we gotta get it's a, it's we gotta a, get the numbers so so we could exchange these things, but it'll be a, your your fucking uh, your sound bite ah or a ringtone yeah yes there you go <laughs> I like that the text tone where even Mike's like fucking laugh like <laughs> I don't know what's going on I'm glad everybody oh, likes me sorting yeah. I think uh Frank is experiencing <laughs> a good feeling. <laughs> Yeah, but but your eyes look in the camera deeply, like you're making love to it, and see if your eyes are fucking I'm making love shot. to no the God. camera. Yeah, make love to the camera. Hey. Like, see, Mike's close. Go put your eye up and see if it's hey. fucking bloodshot and shit. <laughs> no, no, don't make noises. <laughs> weird. Yes, Take make noises. Them. Those are great. No. You see? If, I get, if I get that close, then we'll be kissing. Well, now he's backed up. Now you can do it. <laughs> Go put your eye up there. Hold on. <laughs> That's why no, I'm not doing not it. Blood shot. 
See, you're doing good. See, I'm good. Reiner, I'm fine. <laughs> My first time. Uh, oh, do you guys have a story of like first time smoking weed? Like what your feeling was? I don't. Not for that, because I don't remember. It was I a do. long time ago. I do. <laughs> well, you tell your story, and while you do, I'm going to go pee. Okay. So a lot of our people and fans know um, I am allergic to weed. You're allergic to Oh, really? I'm I allergic know. to THC. So, yeah. Yeah. The feeling you get right before you throw up. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Like the, the mouth watering, your throat. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's how I feel until it wears off. So I don't, I don't partake. The first uh, time I smoked, I I was like, cool, this is this is awesome, an opportunity. I smoked it, and I'm like, man, why do I feel like the? And I threw up. Um, I had an ex boyfriend that didn't believe me. He's like, oh, you just smoked bad weed. You just you had bad shit. So I smoked it with him, and I ended up punching him in the face, throwing up in the bathroom. And then he tried to hold me after I threw up and I punched him again. I just, I, I freak out. I have like a panic attack. My throat closes up. I throw up. So I, I don't smoke weed, but that no. my mm. very, very first time, I think I was 19 and I smoked a bowl, never done it before. Smoked a bowl and lost my shit. Like I just, I freaked <laughs> out. Everything was like, what's that sound? What is that? What's going on? Mm. It was awful. I won't touch it. So, so, um, right now, so THC, we're talking about, but CBD, all this, is this the same stuff? I've never attempted that. Um, I'm, I'm really too scared because, like I said, uh, last year I got crossfaded and I didn't mean last to. Year. Yeah, it was mm-hmm. last year. When AJ was here, I got crossfaded. I don't remember. I didn't see you smoking anything. Well, I hit the pin way too. Oh, it was last year when I worked at that shit hotel. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I got super crossfaded and I hit the pin oh. too hard, too many times, and that was just a bad thing. So I, I'm scared, gun shy. Yeah. yeah. Well, then that's what we were doing with these gummies. Like I've not done them. Mom <laughs> really I done them. So like, I don't know what the fuck we're getting into, but um, we're into it. So <laughs> we're fucking this now. I have to tell you, these ones working <laughs> much better. Than the other ones. <laughs> my my first time I smoked weed, I was at my. <laughs> so you're house. guys. The <laughs> same. Me, yeah, yeah. Just getting into it. Uh, I was at my friend's house, and then we smoked some weed. That was my first time. I remember getting mad at him because he had no food in the house, and so we end up eating dry cereal with no milk. Oh but no! Anyway, mm, then we going in dry. We're sitting. I'm <laughs> <laughs> fucking the cereal. Um, <laughs> So then we're sitting tongue, in the... <laughs> his tongue punching that fart box. <laughs> it was like a more like a hemorrhoid donut. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. And then, I had to watch that. And then uh we were sitting in the living room. <laughs> <laughs> we were sitting in the living room watching a uh, rush hour m- movie. And I was laughing my ass off. And then it ended, and we were watching Magic nice. School Bus. Nice. Hell yeah. We were watching Magic School Bus, and it was black and white. <laughs> <laughs> but it looked like color to you? No, black and white looked like it to me. Nice. It was color. Yeah. <laughs> that was my first experience. Holy shit. <laughs> nice. You took that ride on that Magic School Bus. I like that. <laughs> yeah. I like that. It's really weird, because I got a tattoo on my penis called Magic School Bus. I was like fucking. What's that uh, Jack Black movie when he? Uh... <laughs> Orange County. No. Uh, Orange New Black. Where he had to like face off against Devil. Uh Jack Black. Tenacious yeah. D in the Pick of Destiny. D. Yes. Yeah. Holy fuck! That's How are you not gonna get answer from the fucking movie oh, gurus? These guys are fucking good. So, Tenacious D when he's when he fucking gets high. And he gets into this mushroom land. <laughs> I think that was my magic school bus. <laughs> Sasquatch. Mm-hmm. Nice. Jack Link Sasquatch. <laughs> that movie was great. <laughs> I like Jack Link's jerky. Yeah. Cock push. It's not like Sasquatch dick, but it's real stuff. <laughs> Mess- messing with Sasquatch. Another good movie, um, Harold and Kumar on the way to White yeah. Castle. Yeah. So funny story behind that. I have a Their friend. They're Christmas their Christmas special is good too. Oh, <laughs> I 
I have a friend yeah. who who is Asian, yeah. and we, we rented a car and we were driving to White Castle down south. <laughs> so we were Harold and Kumar on the way to White Castle. <laughs> BMW and Kumar. <laughs> no, we were driving Hyundai Elantra. <laughs> 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 oh my god the fucking ghost radio that would turn on randomly was it jesus music <sighs> yeah you <laughs> never knew what station it was it was so it was contemporary christian snorts just fucking mm-hmm. it. just the snorts yeah it was it was <laughs> It was Christian music followed followed up by fucking <laughs> white zombie stairway to heaven. Oh god, that's even worse. That's that's wild. <laughs> so, do you guys have something coming up, uh, like a um, fundraiser or something like that? We do on uh, December eighth, uh, and we'll we'll go ahead and wrap the show with this, and then we'll let you guys plug uh, on do December eighth. Huh? Do we have them on? Are they on the list? So. Do you guys want to be on the yeah, list? Yeah, we have time slots available. We do have if you time guys slots if you want to be on. We have an hour <laughs> slot. Like everybody gets an hour slot if you want to join. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure. What, I mean, send us something. I mean, we'll look at it for sure. We so it's just tougher okay. for us to coordinate our schedules, but definitely interested in something for sure. Well, we have uh, all of this times. It starts on December eighth at eight p.m. It'll be streaming live on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Twitch. We are going to be raising money and uh, other donations for the Kentucky Humane Society. Well, we are not because we're going to we're, have the links. Well, set we're up. we're raising this stuff for right. them. We're doing we're we're putting in the grunt work for them. Mm-hmm. But uh, on December eighth, uh, starting at eight p.m. Eastern, we will be doing a twenty-four hour live stream for the Kentucky Humane Society. We have a lot of awesome guests lined up for this. Mm-hmm. We got PFM podcast, Opinionated Lushes, I Had to Say It, Whiskey Hell, Ryan Leskis, The Next Level Podcast, Wait What Pod, Latin Jukebox, Andreas, DJ Eric, CK and GK, Big Nick, Go Fuck Yourself. Fuck you, Big Nick. I love you. I fucking hate you. Uh, Tallboy Radio, Seismic Cinema, and Phantom Jukebox. Yeah, we're definitely interested. And, I, 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 I saw something somewhere, but uh, details are... Yeah, let us know the time slot. Okay. Uh, I'm sending it right now. On 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 twelve nine, all on the ninth. Twelve nine. Yeah, I'll be honest with you, like I'll, I wrote this all down. You guys can see it. So, but yeah, there's the gummies work pretty good in the beer. So this is what I got right now. They can't see that. I know. Closer. I can't fucking see this. <laughs> <laughs> that means you're having a good time. That's all that counts. <laughs> it's okay. Tabitha sent it to us, so we got it. I got it. We're good. I don't think it's gummies. I think it's high you alcohol. Use my god given name. Did I say oh. Tabitha? I did. You did. God didn't give you the name. Your mom did. He used my legal name. <laughs> what do you go by? No, you're fine. It's a joke. Tab- Tab- and Michael. Tabby or Tabs. It's fine. You could call me Tab. I don't call her Tabby because that sounds dumb to me, and I'm not her friend. I'm her husband. You call so me I babe. call her Tab. Yeah, that. Well, to other yeah. people, I call her Tab. Why do you when, prefer? When I'm you... talking to her, I. Nah, when I'm, I'm nice. talking to her, I say, "Hey, babe." Please. Yeah. Yeah, if my wife uses my first name, it's weird. Then we laugh. <laughs> That's weird. That's yeah. weird that you're talking. She does I'm that. In the room if, if, no, here. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. you. Guys we don't yet. If if she calls me, if she calls me Mike, I purposely ignore her until I hear her say, "Babe." <laughs> I will oh. I will ignore her. I will. Who the fuck? Mike? I don't like yeah. it. No, it's cr- <laughs> Yeah. That's not my name to you. You know this. No, don't call me that. Hey, Mike, 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 Mike. Yeah, big what daddy. It is. <laughs> big daddy. No. I... <laughs> Mediocre day. What, what do you think? Oh. Yes, you're bringing that back around? Shout out to Whiskey Hell Podcast. <laughs> While we're listening to Bon Jovi songs. <laughs> bon Jovi. Bon Jovi. So Whiskey Hell does this thing on their Patreon where you. No, okay. Bon, bon, not Bon Jovi. Bon Jovi. Hold on. Let me let me let me get there. Let me get there. So shut up. (laughs) It's awful. No. You say, babe. Babe. Shut up. That's not thank you. When you speak to me, you speak to me with respect and call me babe. Babe's the activator. (laughs) Can you steal a babe? Make sure you touch your nose first. Hey yo. 
He jumped into their chat out of nowhere. We were drunk as shit, and the first words out of his mouth in the chat was, me and my mediocre dick. My dick is small. <laughs> it ended up on their episode. I mean, look, if, if, I, if I'm nothing, I'm an honest man. <laughs> I'm honest, I'm a man of honesty and truth. And then, <laughs> But you got a hurricane tongue. I speak my truth. Yeah, my mouth worked, though. Yeah. He can say the alphabet in 15 fucking different languages. You know how I trained for that? I, I actually yogurt. am I actually am somewhat fluent in German. Uh, that helps. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Imagine if he knew Arabic. <laughs> it's like a turkey getting I'm shot. Only Arabic, I'm please? only Arabic. <laughs> I'm, I only speak Arabic when uh, I have consent. <laughs> That's a different level. I got to like hum. Oh, All you need to do is hum the beat to ACDC Thunderstruck. <laughs> I need to write that down. So <laughs> <laughs> write that down. ACDC. Ask Roman. Roman, I'll tell you. Roman, I need to speak to your lady. <laughs> no, it was me and Roman. <laughs> Hi, Todd. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> Hi, high five. Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> tu beaucoup, tu beaucoup. Oh, God. Roman is, Frank is number four prostitute in all of Kusek. Yes, he is my beach. <laughs> beach. <laughs> Very nice. I'm the king of the castle. I'm the king of the castle. Sandy. <laughs> I'll give you a pearl. I'll give you a pearl I get for sure. I eat asshole. My neighbor eat asshole. Not. He cannot. I get not. <laughs> table. <laughs> he is number four bar. prostitute. <laughs> In all of Kazakhstan. <laughs> Fucking damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I hope we're doing okay. I hope we're not fucking up your podcast. Oh, God, this is amazing. I think I'm going to cut out, like, the first hour just no. and go to this. Just go to this. No, put them all on TikTok. <laughs> yeah. It was. It was for all this fucking time you spent editing because I don't know what the fuck's going on here. Yeah, he's, he's mentally Good. <laughs> He has the mental so retired. <laughs> <laughs> not. La, 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 la. So you guys are editing yeah, everything so yourself. <laughs> We've been so busy. I'm not. No, not you guys. Her. I'm shit over. She's editing. Because you got burnt. I will be playing Xbox. <laughs> I'm going to be playing Xbox while she's editing. Well, well hold on. I know, I, I know you got burnt, but we actually we actually use a a, um, a a third party to edit our podcast. Yeah, we 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 tried, and it was so diff- Well, no. Audio, I edit audio. But video is is difficult, and I had a hard time with it. It just takes up so much time. And if you don't know what you're doing, uh, you're constantly learning something. So it was easier for us to hire someone to do it. We just got lucky uh, as far as pricing goes. But, um, yeah, he's super helpful as far as video. Oh, you guys are not on YouTube? We're on YouTube. Yeah, we have a YouTube. Mm -hmm. Are you guys video on YouTube? Yeah. Sometimes. Well, when, when we do our live shows. Then, yeah. yeah, that's on YouTube. Okay. Well, our episodes upload to YouTube as well. Yeah, but they're audio only on YouTube. Yeah. yeah. Unless our guests give us the all clear to do the audio or yeah. do the video. Yeah, yeah well, that's what I was asking because I'm. I mean, we we we're all busy. We all got other jobs in this, and uh, we I can't always keep straight things that go on, and Roman can't always keep straight with me. But it's I couldn't. I I I knew that there was a, a a YouTube piece of you. I don't know if it was audio or video, but it's um. It's very difficult to be able to, you know, fit this in to do what we need to do. And, and how long? How long have you guys been doing this? So what you're uh, saying is that you aren't straight in videos. <laughs> oh no, we're straight up now. We're only. I'm only. <laughs> we're only <laughs> like, like one episode behind on our video. So right now it's like a semi chubby, but we will be full blue steel erect mm. in like there's two there's or three. Looks- there's nothing we're doing here now that we don't do on our episode. <laughs> That's beautiful. Love it. Uh, no, we've we've been doing this 
So two years? Two, uh, two, years. Well, two, year, two years and two months. Okay. Yeah, we're new to it. We're learning. We're like, Roman yeah. knows a lot about yeah. the technical end of things. I know about the, you know, fuck off. You look like an idiot part of stuff. But like, yeah, it's, it's, skill. it's just, it's just, <laughs> you're just, we're you just show good. up to look good. But we just, we just do things like, I mean, these things like we talked about this pri- uh, previously, you know, you guys offer, I think, uh, a scripted thing or like, so you throw some questions out to someone or it's just, it's just this. And this is what we do. I mean, I, I, we're all busy and, um, this is the first time we're actually talking this long, other than the the, the IG live. I don't even know how long it's been, but it's um it's just cool to talk to you guys and and um you know almost two sort hours. of just play off of whatever we're doing. Like it it doesn't matter. There's nothing that has to uh you know two we don't, hours. We don't want to follow a gu- guideline. You know, I feel like we started thirty minutes ago. <laughs> That's how sex is for Roman. <laughs> I know it did. That's yeah. because it's always a fun time in the. <laughs> So you're saying I last long? No, that's it's how it is in the tap room. Like everybody yeah. shows up, you have a good time. Yeah, I, I hope you're a good ask guy. That question. <laughs> um, and then, oh, uh, absolutely wonderful. Do you guys want to plug your shit one yeah. more time? Plug your show one yeah. more time. Uh, we are uh, Bruise and Banter uh, podcast. Frank and I'm Roman, and then um, we are on social media: Facebook, um, Instagram. Twitter slash X, whatever. Um, and when then all these you, things, you YouTube, other, everything, yep. yeah, YouTube yep. as well. Um, please follow us and subscribe there. It's free. And then uh, we're hoping to get our podcast going, um, our Patreon going um, any days. And Supercast. You guys have experience with Supercast or no? No. No. Yeah. So we, we just heard about this from somewhere else. Uh-uh. But Supercast apparently is just a, a different plat- platform like, uh, um, like, uh, Patreon. like Patreon, but you get to, I think, own your um, email list and your content. So it's it's and, it, and it's much more difficult to yeah. be demonetized. Yeah, they they're not as strict. But we're not making any money, so it doesn't. Oh, awesome. their, their fee is much okay. smaller. I think their fee ceiling is like fifty six cents, something like that. Yeah, go go with Patreon. It's it's the best one. It is. You get we'll all the money. Both. There's no. We'll do you, both. You get ninety five percent of the money. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Okay. And let us know when you get that Patreon up and we'll subscribe. Absolutely. Thank you. Same. And we'll find you guys. Yep. Thank All you right. guys so much for joining us. It has been a wonderful fucking time. It's, it's been a wild episode and I can't wait for everyone to hear it. I'm stoked for this ep- I'm, I'm <laughs> For once, I'm actually looking forward to Monday just because this episode's going to drop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm looking forward to it as so, well. Yeah. Uh, I, I drive a lot, so I listen to podcasts. I like to support other podcasters to to give them a download or a listen. Um, and it's nice to learn and relate to people like yourselves. And uh, I'm looking forward to it in, in advance. Hell yeah. I hope your editing goes smoother than I think it would be. <laughs> it should be. Same. And uh, thank you guys very much. Hell yeah. Well, thank you guys for being here, man. It's been awesome. And we can, we will we'll definitely have you guys back on the show 100%. Oh. And if you wanna if you wanna be guests on our December eighth charity event, man, just uh, hit hit me up because I run on most of our socials. I sent you uh, the. Oh, did you? Yeah, I screenshot the times we had. I sent it on Instagram. So. Okay. Cool. Yep. Okay. Yeah. If you guys wanna, if you guys, you're more than welcome. We like I said, we have time slots available still. But yeah, so that is gonna do it for this episode of the Grace Taproom Podcast with our very amazing fucking guests. We got Frank and Roman from Brews and Banter. It's been fucking awesome. Thank you, guys. Tab, take us the fuck out of here. As always, thanks for listening to this episode. Don't forget to check out our link tree at linktr.ee slash Gray's Taproom Podcast 2. You will find many ways to support us. Buy us a coffee because we will be hung over after this episode. You can subscribe to our Patreon. Three tiers are available for you. Get your buzzed on for $3, get tipsy for 5 or fully loaded for 10 Don't text and drive, don't drink and drive, and always drink responsibly. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Tap room closed. Good night. Bye.